All right. So I'm back. Um, the topic is not, um, let's stop stuff suffering in silence. Um, we all tend to want to hold things in and not talk about what we're going through and what's on our mind and what we're suffering through. Um, we tend to suffer alone because we think that we're the only ones going through things. Um, we think that um, no one else understands us and understand what we're going through. But in our actuality, a lot of us are faced with the same issues. We are all suffering um, and go through things. Social media platform makes it even worse because you're comparing yourself to these celebrities and they're actors and a lot of the times their life is not really what you think. You know, everybody want to be watching love and hip hop and want those lifestyles, but they don't really understand what comes with it. Um, you lose your freedom. You lose yourself. Because for some reason, and I'm not sure why, but when a person becomes famous or they've been on TV or they got money or people think that they got money, they, you know, a lot of people just because they're on TV don't mean that they're all rich. But we hold them accountable. Um, and we shouldn't because they're normal people. We should not hold a celebrity accountable for when they spaz out or they going through something, you know, they're normal people just like us, just like we going through stuff and we're depressed. They are normal people. They be depressed and sad too. Like you can't, we got to stop holding these people to a certain standard. That's why you see like Jim Carrey or like, remember like Robin Williams, he was the funniest person. He had that smile on his face. Um, he was, a, he's, he was wealthy, was in a, bunch of box office movies but that man was suffering he was sad he was depressed and he wanted to take himself out and a lot of times what I've noticed is that when you're becoming more spiritual and there's a spiritual awakening about to happen with you that's when the depression actually starts because I noticed that even with me right before I became enlightened and I got more on my spirituality. I was suffering in depression a lot, a lot, a lot. Like I was just, it would be times that I would be in my bed, don't want to move, don't want to go nowhere, don't want to wash my ass. You know, depression is some serious shit. I mean, I remember it was a time where I was sick because I was in and out the hospital. I was sick and I was depressed and it was like, I know I may sound crazy, but I remember laying in the bed and there was this black shadow figure in the door. And for days it was there. For days. And I watched it as it watched me. Those all that time that I was in the bed, I don't know who it was, what it was. I just know it was a black shadowy figure and it was standing in my doorstep. I don't know if it was the reaper waiting on me to die because I was really sick. It took my, like, I ended up going to the hospital and being in the hospital for a long time, but I was literally laying there. I was just kind of waiting to die. I didn't care. Um, I, you get to the point to where you just don't even want to be here on earth. You, it's like depressing. Sometimes you wake up in the morning and you're like, damn, I got to face this day again. But you got to you gotta just take life by the fucking horns and sling that shit. And just, look, I'm not going to be depressed today. I'm going to be happy. I'm going to go wash my ass. I'm going to go get my comb my hair, go put some makeup on. You got to snap out of that shit. You know, because it will it will kill you. Depression will kill you. Um, it will have you thinking all type of things. And that's not good. Because, you know, sometimes, a lot of the times, they're not even your um, your feelings. Like, you got to be careful with who you're around. 
because you may be um you may be how can i say you may be possessed with somebody else's uh feelings because you gotta watch like when you having sex with people you take on like especially when you have an unprotected sex you take on different people's spirits and emotion you got to be careful you can't just sleep with everybody this is a lot of this is why i'm i don't be around people a lot no more because i noticed that like when i'm in a crowded place i tend to get weak like literally feeling like i'm about to fall out sometimes especially like if i'm in a mall um i get weak because i feel it's so many energies so many energies, different people that um, it makes me weak, you know, and I have to leave. I have to sit down and I don't know why I'm, I'm going through this, but it's, I don't know if it's people still in my energy or what, but once I'm, I leave, I'm fine. But I, I, a lot of different things happen with me. Um, also, um, with my spiritual awakening and when I started paying attention, that's when I started seeing sequence and being in sync, seeing the, the different numbers, one, 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 two, 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 three, 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 four, 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 five, 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 six, six. I see all of those numbers. And sometimes I may see like 211, uh, 344, 345, you know, and those are messages from the divine spirit. And when you really get in tune, um, you can start understanding those messages. So, you know, like look them up. What does this mean? What does this number mean? Because they're messages. And when you read them, you, you, you read it like, damn, that it makes sense. This, you start resonating with those sequences. And that's how, or how, that's how spirit communicates with you. Spirit is not going to communicate like me and you talking or spirit can communicate through me from me speaking to you all and I can allow spirit to take over and to say some things to you know to have me speak some things that a message that needs to be heard but for the most part spirit speaks in like numbers so you have to pay attention to when you see in a certain number all the time. Uh, when you look at the clock every day and it's like 3.33 or 4.45 or 8.08. Or when you start seeing certain numbers, start paying attention to it because that's spirit and that's your ancestors trying to reach out and give you a message. They're trying to tell you either we're with you, we're strong. 11.11 is a portal. Too. So whenever you see 1111, you, be, you always make a wish and be grateful and thankful and stay positive because that's when the gateways are open at that time, 1111, whether it's 1111 a.m. or 1111 p.m. Or, you know, when you keep seeing 111111, you know, it. I work in uh, finances, so I see numbers all day long and I pay attention to it because some like account numbers may be like 777 you know be like wait that's weird you know or the next account number be 777 but they not you know I, I i just pay more attention now to um synchronicities and if it's something that i want to understand or i'll i'll look it up because i know that 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 is a message for me and nine times out of ten that message i resonate with i understand and i understand spirit um i understand the guidance my spirit guides and what they're saying to me and i i always say thank you for the message and i'm happy that you're guiding me so that they can continue and a lot of times they most of the time nine times out of ten they're gonna continue sending you messages because they know you are woke now you aware so that's how they're gonna constantly keep coming to you and speaking to you you're gonna constantly keep seeing them numbers or if you're not paying attention you're gonna constantly see them numbers and just so they can get your attention and it's not a coincidence <laughs> they're trying to tell you some 
spirit or something, one of your ancestors could be a friend that passed on something, you know, you're going to start smelling. Have you ever been around? I used to smell like this um, strong scent of cigarettes and I wouldn't even be smoking. So I would know like when my, my daughter's father would be around or come visit because I could smell like cigarette smoke. Um, and he smoked Newports and stuff like that. So I, I could, I would be, it would be times when I would be sick too, like laying in the bed and in my depressive state. That's when a lot of your loved ones come and visit you, but they're always around you. They're around me now. <laughs> I know that. Um, I could, you could, and one way to find out if spirit is around you and your ancestors or, uh, um, get a glass of water and sit it on a table or by your nightstand or by your bed and you start seeing bubbles, they're there. I got a glass on my altar of water and I see that I see tons of bubbles and I'm grateful for that because I know that I'm protected. I know that I'm not alone. You know, when I'm out speaking or talking, I ain't talking to myself. I may not be, <laughs> I may not be, um, talking to nobody that I could visually see, but I know in spirit, my spirit, you know, my, ancestors in my spirit guides hear me um i haven't gotten to that point to where i can see them yet but i would love to um i remember me and my brother used to joke a lot of times we used to be like if i die before you i'm gonna be scaring the shit out your ass <laughs> i'm gonna be slamming doors i'm gonna be uh fucking with you in your sleep and I'm be doing this, and it's funny because I, I I would I don't know what I would do without my brother. You know, me and him are real close, but we silly. But um, some things happened to me the other day, and um, y'all may like I said, y'all be may think I'm crazy, but I ain't. Uh, I'm just in tune. But I fell asleep with some earrings in my ear. Mind you, when you have rubber backs on your ear, the rubber backs, your earrings and stuff ain't going to come off with them rubber backs. That's just like having an eraser on there. You know that shit does not move. You know, it's not going to fall out unless somebody slap that shit out your ear or snatch it out. So, um, I was sleeping and I had these, um, my unk earrings. I don't know if y'all seen my unk earrings, but I got those personally customized in Greece and I had those earrings on and I fell asleep I was waiting on my daughter to get off of work and I so I can go pick her up and I fell asleep and um no I had already picked her up from work I think I had came home and just fell asleep I was tired and I woke up the next day and my earring was gone and I was sad that whole day y'all like the whole day I was sad because I'm like, damn, I just done with some custom made earrings and I got them from Greece. They came from Greece. This lady made them um, personally for me. And I was sad because I'm like, damn, I done lost one of my earrings. And I'm like, I'm going to have to order me another, some more. I love my unk earrings. That's another thing. Unks are portals. Y'all need to look into unks and see if you if you're not up on what an unk is read about it but um i had lost it i thought i lost the earring so i went to work i was just you know talking to people and i i, I lost my earring i'm sad especially those that know me that um saw me you know saw me wearing them and they always would compliment me or whatever and um I was talking to one of my co-workers and I was telling her, I was like, girl, I done lost my earring. She was like, uh -huh. but I was sad. I was sad as hell. Like literally I came home. Imagine my daughter does not come in my room like that. Um, I come home from work and I know that it ain't nobody here, but me and my daughter and the dog. <laughs> so I come home from work. And I get ready and I lay down in the bed and I feel something cold touch my leg. I'm like, what the fuck? I thought 
I might have eaten the bed, so I thought I had wasted some ranch dressing or some shit on my leg, on my bed, and it was on my leg. So I looked down. The fucking earring with the back on it was in my bed. With the back on it. Mind you, how the hell could this earring come out my ear and the back still be on it? It wasn't that the back was off. If the back would have came wasn't on there, I would have felt like, okay. Yeah, um, I lost it. I was sleeping too wild and it came off in my sleep. No. Something took that fucking earring out my ear and placed it on my bed or whatever. Or took it and then when it wanted it to come back to me, I saw how sad I was about my motherfucking earring. It put it back. But it put it back on the bed where I could see it. And that shit was wigging me out. Then the next day, I had another pair of earrings on. And I fell asleep again. Woke up. Earring gone. I, this time I had a phone, my phone on the bed. And my phone was sitting in the middle of the bed. There was no reason for that phone to fall. So something must have slapped the phone off the bed. And I happened to look down. I looked down, that was my earring. <laughs> With the motherfucking back on. So I'm like, oh, this some bullshit. Who keep taking my earring out my ear? So at this time, at this point, I'm getting angry. Like, what, who the fuck fucking with me? But I'm not scared. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm aware now. So I'm not scared. And I used to be scared to death. I used to be, like, I was one of those kids that used to be, because I was bad as hell. I was scared of death. Like I was scared of cemeteries. I would have these reoccurring dreams and nightmares that I would walk through cemeteries. Um, or I had to walk through cemeteries. And that shit would be so scary to me. And I would have these I had these dreams up until I was like in high school. And probably out of high school was just a, just the fact that I happened to walk through a cemetery. I was so scared of death. Now, I'm not gonna say I welcome death or I embrace it, but if I die today, I'm not going to be sad because I've passed away before. I've been brought back. Um, I've passed away a couple of times in surgery or any, you know, um, and I've been came back. So I know I have a purpose. Um, it's the reason that I'm here. But, um, just things like that happen to me. Even when I had the synchronicities, I'd be talking and praying and speaking what I wanted to speak. And it'd be like, like I said, 222 or 222. And then I got to be talking and praying. And I know I ain't talking and praying that long. Time jumps. By the time I look at the clock again, it'd be like 226. You'd be like, the fuck? It was just 222, 222 up. 333, but when you start praying and you speaking on it, like, you, it's like you jump dimensions. You jump time. Um, I go through a lot of, like, stuff. I don't know if y'all can really relate to what I go through, but I, I am not crazy. Society will make y'all think that I'm crazy, but I know I'm not the only person that experienced this shit and a person that goes through this shit, but society will have you believing that you're fucking crazy. And you're not. You're not crazy. You can speak upon this stuff. You're not going through this by yourself. That's my thing. We all think we're suffering. We're suffering in silence. And we don't have to. We all are going through this. It's a spiritual awakening. More and more of us are going through these spiritual awakening and these things and stuff is like, it's happening. This is the best time to be on planet Earth. This is why you got so many babies being born. Every time you turn around, you got people... People being reincarnated, coming back. You got so many people that done had babies and these, especially these new millennium babies that's about to come. This new generation. Oh my God. These are some amazing babies. Like a lot of them, like they take over women. A lot of women that has been pregnant within the last year or two or finna have babies in 2020. A lot of them are sickly, sickly as hell. Like have a lot of issues with their pregnancies. They really sick. Those babies is coming over here and they taking over like in about another 10 years. These are these babies are going to be special. Watch what I say. These are some special 
babies that are being born in this year of 2020. This is a whole new decade. So these babies are like, like how they talk about artificial intelligence. And you remember those, seeing those movies where, well, they're not cloned, but they're just, they're going to be smarter. They're going to be, they're not going to be average kids. These these babies that's born in this 2020, they're going to be walking before time, talking before time. They're going to be doing a lot of things, um, some amazing things. These people are, they, they could, because a lot of them were here before, they're just coming back to have an experience. Um, to have an experience, I don't know what's going to happen, but it's going to be some type of big uh, spiritual awakening something's going to be like about a, it's we're going to start waking up by the masses it's something that's going to happen big that's all i can say i don't know what it is but something big is about to happen um we got to stick together we have to pay attention first of all we have to start paying attention fuck all that shit that's on tv all of that stuff is a distraction so we got to we got to stick together. We got to learn to get our minds right and, and focus on the, what's the right shit. Fuck all that stuff that's on TV because a lot of it don't matter. All of that celebrity shit, it don't matter because you sitting up thinking that they got so much going on and they depressed and sad and fucked up, just as fucked up as you. They can't just talk about it you know they can't they, they have to push this certain agenda and, and when they realize that that's what they got to do they get depressed and sad about it but they want to feed their families and get their family out of poverty so i can understand that but as far as us regular people we got to break away from society and house what society uh wants us to think, feel, and be. I love you guys.